What is going on guys? It's Real Thoughts Gmail here, back with another Java tutorial. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add a background to the game and then we're gonna fix some glitches. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I am going to go on to paint.net What's going on guys? Real Thoughts Gmail here, back with another Java tutorial and today we are going to be adding a, a background and fixing some glitches. All right, so I'm gonna go to paint.net real quick. I'm gonna go to file new, and this is just creating our background. So I'm gonna make it 700 by 500. Sure, why not? <clears throat> and I'm just gonna make it black and add some stars. There we go. That's gonna be my background. You should probably make yours a little bit better, but then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my workspace here, space game, res folder, and I'm just gonna save it <clears throat> as background. All right, so then I'm gonna go back into the game here, and if you press on your project, press F5, it actually ref refreshes the res folder. So now, as you can see, we have a, a background. And I'm going to go into game here, and I'm going to create a new buffered image. So private buffered image. And I'm going to call it background equals null. And where we, where we loaded our sprite sheet, we're just going to load it here. So background equals loader dot load image slash background dot png. There we go. And now all you have to do is go into your render here and say g.draw image x or no I'm sorry zero zero uh no <clears throat> and we have to we have to include the image obviously so background so now just by doing that if we play our game you can see we have a space background now and it's a little bit better than our red background uh, and we can shoot and all that so that is awesome now the next glitch we're gonna fix is this as you can see we might not want this in the game we might just want it to be you have to tap you have to hit the spacebar and release it in order to you know shoot a new bullet so instead of you know just making it full auto like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new variable and it's gonna be a boolean value so private boolean I'm gonna say is shooting equals false. Okay, and I'm gonna go down to our key pressed, and with the space, I'm gonna say if key equals vk underscore space and not is shooting. So we put this exclamation point there. That means that's equivalent to saying if is shooting equals equals false. It's just a shorter way of doing it. And if you wanted to say if it's true, then you just put is shooting, and that results to true automatically. <clears throat> so if it's not is shooting, then we're going to say is shooting equals true. And with our released, we're going to say else if key equals equals key event dot vk space is shooting equals false. So this is going to force the player to release the key in order to be able to shoot another bullet. So if we play it, <clears throat> and I just hold space, as you can see, it's not happening anymore. So that was basically it. Uh, next tutorial, we're gonna be actually getting into some mechanics uh, of maybe some enemies coming down. Again, uh, let me know in the comment section, like always, what you want to see next. But I'm thinking enemies. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try and hit 15 likes. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.